Hello, today I want to demo uh, using the third-party BIOS for my V40 motherboard project on this motherboard. And this is one of my earlier motherboards, V40 built on an ISA card. Um, I've demonstrated it on my V40 built on an ATX motherboard, and I've demonstrated it on my 8088 uh, motherboard built on a card. So now I just need to show this one. So, the difference from this from the ATX motherboard is there's no decoupling capacitors on anything. And uh, it still works. Um, the difference was was the uh, 20 megahertz processor worked on the other one where it won't work here. So, I've already explained all the features of the board for the most part in my other video, so I'm not going to re-explain it here. But I'm just going to show how this is all together. So this is a 256 megabyte USB drive and it plugs in the bottom one here. It's a port E0 and I explained in my other videos I picked that because it was uh, just an open port. Then the keyboard controller I'm going to use is this Winbon W83C42P and I do have another keyboard controller. Now this board was designed for this particular chip. These are becoming uh, harder to get. I've actually ordered up about 50 of them. Uh, they should be here soon. Uh, the only guy I know that's selling them right now has jacked the price up to $7. When I first started buying them from him, they were 3 So the ones that I've got I'll probably list for sale so that these are available for a better price. Now. There is this keyboard controller, which is the VT82C42V, but where this board was built for the for this one over here, I had to connect pin 8 to ground for it to work. So if I do redesign this, I'll put decoupling capacitors on there and I'll connect pin 8 to ground so that it'll be universal. Uh, with this wire, I did test it already, it works with the wire. So I'm going to just hook this one up here on port 60. And we're ready to put it on the uh, back plane, so I'm going to pause the video while I put it together. Alright, I've got it all connected up here. Now I did, I've got my VGA card there. I've got two of these. Uh, one of them doesn't actually work in this board, where it works just fine in the other one. I'm not sure why. Um, so let's put it on the monitor here. Let's see if we can see this without um, turn off the lights. Get it to focus better. See, it's booting up just fine. Now, the character on the screen there that's after the prompt that came uh, on there because of uh, that keyboard command that I have in the auto exec. And that is for the other keyboard controller to initialize it because it wasn't built into the uh, ROM. So let's take a look here. It's kind of sliding around on me here. So you can see Microsoft Diagnostics shows what we've got here. It says NEC V20, so it's a V40. It says V20 because the V40 is what's in the core, or sorry, the V20 is what's in the core of the V40. Got our 512K. It says we've got some extended RAM, but that that's not right. Uh, drives A, B, and C. OS is uh, DOS 6.22. So, we'll exit this.
So there's our uh, auto exec. We've run that keyboard program, and that's for the uh, other key and keyboard controller, like I was saying. You can actually open that. This third party BIOS is pretty good on this com uh, single board computer, this uh, back, this ISA card with the V40 on it. So that's the keyboard.asm file. And you can see we test the controller, send it out the command port, delay so it can process. Then we write the command byte that sets it up to PC mode, enable, interrupt. Then we just return to the operating system. So if you if your keyboard's controller not initializing correctly, you could try putting that code in there. So let's see what else we can test. Let's try some games today. You see it works just fine, the keyboard works fine, the monitor works fine. The speaker's a little, uh, not 100% there, but it works. So. Anyway, thanks for checking it out.